We're on the front steps of the legislature here in Victoria uh, to uh, celebrate another milestone in the McKenzie Interchange Project. Uh, it's an $85 million uh, interchange uh, project that uh, uh, is going to benefit uh, all, many, many different uh, people here in Greater Victoria. And we've announced today that we've, we've uh, uh, selected a preferred design option. It's a partial cloverleaf uh, that we believe provides the maximum safety benefits and the, uh, the maximum traffic flow efficiency. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that this particular design option that we've selected reflects a tremendous amount of public input. I think the Ministry has done a fabulous job um, with its open houses and its material, letting the public know uh, what the options are and including them in the selection of this uh, final design. Uh, so one of the design changes uh, that we were, we were able to incorporate into the design as a result of that feedback was actually elevating uh, the, the new Galloping Goose Trail uh, over McKenzie as opposed to going under. Uh, that was directly as a result of feedback received from the cycling community. Likewise, we, we heard from lots of folks who were concerned uh, about the potential for traffic backing up on McKenzie. Uh, and, and so as a result of that, we've added a second uh, a right turn lane when you're coming out down McKenzie and you're turning right onto uh, the Island Highway. Uh, so those are the kinds of examples of, um, of, of in, in enhancements or refinements that we've made to the plan because so many people uh, actively participated uh, in this uh, consultation uh, or in the consultations for this project.